Well hello gorgeous people. I've promised you that I would show you my coat collection for some time now and because it's quite extensive I thought I'd start in this video with long coats. So let's start first with a Dior. Of course we have to start with Dior. I thrifted this for $70. It's deep navy. It's from the 1980s. It has a shawl collar. It's lined with silk. It's fully wool. It's unbelievable. I've even authenticated it. Yes I have. It's so worth doing the hunt, people. This was from the Salvos. I know. The next one is a stunning Trelease Cooper. This has the most exquisite embroidery on the front. It is just the most delicious chocolatey brown and the fit is incredible. It looks brilliant with so much and I'm completely obsessed with this coat. I really must wear this more. Next we have another thrifted item. This is a wool Japanese coat. It's the most gorgeous Penelope pit stop style. I love wearing it with black and white. It is the most gorgeous pale soft lemony colour and it sort of has a boucle feel to it. Next is a George Gross. This is actually Jacquard. So it's a tweed, a very gentle tweed, but it has this jacquard print of florals all over it. It's the most exquisite deep grey, and I love that it has a tie belt, but then of course I can swap it out and put a regular belt with it too. This is a coat I actually bought in Japan, in Tokyo, and it was at a market. And oh my goodness, I forgot that I had it. It's a beautiful, beautiful shape. It has the most luscious tweed, and its own self belt, but of course you can swap it out. Love the lining, it's this almost like a tamarind colour. It's really a divine piece and I absolutely adore the neckline. This is a top shop and it's a mohair shaggy coat, camel coat. It is the perfect, perfect shape. The lapels are just superb. The pocket flaps are gorgeous. Love the long, long tie belt. It almost has a robe-like feel but more structured. It's just one of those classic pieces that you'll have a lifetime and that won't date and just one of those perfect finds. So if you ever find one, grab it. This is another one of those classic finds. It's a Karen Millen. It's a hound's tooth. The fabric is extraordinary, really thick, falls beautifully. The double breastedness, the slit pockets, the trim on the sleeves, the gold hardware, the epaulettes, I mean it's just a perfect coat. Again, a really British classic and something that I will wear forever. This little one is just from H&M. It's actually a twill and it's in that beautiful nondescript almost pale mushroom colour, a greyish I guess. Love the belt, love the overstitching on the belt. It's light enough to wear through spring and into uh, autumn as well and I just love the versatility and shape of it. Another thrifted item now, in fact I would say at least 50%, if not more of my coats are thrifted. This is a Charlie Brown and you may have seen when I brought it into frame that it has this jacquard grid like pattern on it, almost like a checkerboard. It is the most stunning fit. You may have heard me mention before that I like my coats nice and streamlined mostly and it just skims over outfits exquisitely. I love the self tie belt and I just love the shape of the neckline. This is a Topshop recycle coat and it's a classic oversized, a little bit shorter coat but I still classify it as long. Love the slip pockets, love the soft texture of the fabric and it has that cocoon like feel. It's just one of those coats that I can wear in a casual way, throw it over jeans and gum boots, it's perfect. I have had this Moschino coat for I would say 25 years if not more. It has this deep textured tweed. It's fully lined in this gorgeous silk satin. It has this faux fur trim on it that's just so chic but also got that little bit of edge. I love that I can wear it over an evening gown at night or I can wear it over jeans and boots. Plus, hello, green. Now this coat would have to be my biggest investment I've ever made. It was ridiculously expensive. It's a Karen Millen and it is the softest, butteriest leather I have ever felt in my life. It is exquisitely crafted, the most beautiful shape, overstitching, buckles on the sleeves, epaulettes, the pockets at the side, the, the little Mac flap at the front. I mean, it is unbelievably beautiful. I cringe every time I look at it for what I paid, but I do know that it's going to be something I'll wear lifelong. I just have to wear it more. Now, this is probably the most valuable coat I own. It's 100% cashmere. It's lined in silk. 
It's a bespoke coat that I had made when we lived in China by one of the top seamstresses in Beijing. And it is unbelievably warm, like you could just wear a bikini <laughs> in minus four and you'd still be fine. And it's just one of those classic shapes. I got Xiaofei to make me a lot of different clothes when I lived in Beijing. And this one, I believe, was a copy of, I don't know, it was probably Armani because that was my obsession at the time. She made other things for me too, but this is one that I absolutely treasure. And it's a lifelong keeper. From Lux to Budget, I think this is an ASOS and it's just a classic quilted padded coat. It's so chic, it reminds me of country walks in England, you know. Perfect colour, perfect fit, perfect shape. Just adore this, love the stand-up collar and it's just gorgeous to layer in winter. Seriously budget, love it. This is another Japanese coat and the Japanese do coats so well. The only thing is, is the sleeves are often really short. But I adore this. I love the neckline. Love the asymmetrical buttons going down the side. Adore the little trim on the sleeve and it's actually pinched in a little so it gathers. And it's just the perfect length. Love the self tie. Simply adore the tweed. It's the most gorgeous patterning and it's just retro chic. This Zara is one of my favourite coats of all time. It's that exquisite blend of modern and retro. Adore the tweed. It's a herringbone and it's got sort of patchy marks on it as well. Love that I can wear the neckline open or up. Love the self tie. Those sleeves are exquisite. It's sort of a drop sleeve with a balloon. It has slit pockets. It's the most stunning shape. It's the coat I get the most compliments on. And of course you can swap out that tie for something a little more chic. A totally different look now. I'm not into oversized normally but could not resist this coat. It belts in beautifully because it's so thin. It's a blush colour and nothing looks more beautiful with blush than red. Absolutely adore this scarf with it. And of course a beautiful creamy knit scarf. Perfection. Another dime store buy that's one of my obsessions. This is just a Shein coat. Bought it a couple of winters ago. It is the most superb houndstooth gorgeous tweed fabric. Sleeves can be a little on the short side but I just roll them up generally and wear a lovely knit underneath. Adore the patch pockets at the front, also the self tie. I'm a great pattern lover and I love to mix patterns so I'm removing that belt and adding a sash made by my gorgeous friend Emma of Deed Bags and how superb does it look wrapped around the middle of this coat. So expensive, so chic and that little bit different. Next is an ASOS coat that I'm obsessing over. I love it for the mid-grey and I'm getting back into grey. It's been a long time since I've worn grey. But check out this piece that folds around the back of the coat and does up at the front. And what it does at the back is it holds you in and gives a beautiful silhouette. Love the flat pocket. Love the simple sleeve. The lapel is absolute perfection. And I love how this front piece, see how it sort of skims down the front of the body and gives that curve? Stunning. All right, I will admit I have a lot of favourite coats and this is another one. It's another Karen Millen and it's twill. I adore twill, but it's a very large format sized twill so it has a gorgeous texture to it. It looks incredible with the tie draped around the back and tied and just worn loosely over jeans. It's so elegant and chic, but it has that gorgeous relaxed vibe too. Another H&M coat and this is my most recent buy. Again, it's a twill, but twill is so hardy, it keeps its shape so beautifully and it adds that luscious texture. You can even see there's a bit of a sheen to the coat. This is just another one of those classic pieces that'll last a lifetime, can be worn with so many things. I can even grab some beautiful little brooches and pin them so that it closes. I also love wrapping the belt around and tying it at the back to give that retro feel. Here now, a mango coat. This is a wool recycled coat. Again, it's one of those cocoon coats that's a bit shorter and I can wear more casually. It can be a little dull looking, so let's add a bit of bling. This might be a little too grandma. How about something a bit more modern? White shirt, jodfers and riding boots? Perfect. Another recent thrifted find. This is an Oxford in the most exquisite British racing car green. Loving the placket over the top of the buttons. Loving the flat pocket and those gorgeous zip pockets. Love these seams along the sleeves and along the back of the coat and of course this gorgeous belt. It even has little loops at the neckline and the fit is neat and streamlined. A timeless classic. A similar coat to the pink one, another Zara. It is the same shape and style but the duck egg blue is beyond exquisite. 
Again, because of my body shape, I like to wear it belted in. But if I'm going to wear it in a cocoon shape, I'll add a gorgeous big scarf, a la Carnaby Street, London. Another superb vintage find. This was thrifted a while ago, and it's a vellum. It's a satin trench coat leopard. What more could you need? It has Mac flaps. It has double breasting. It has exquisite collars. It really is one of those pieces that will go with anything at any time, anywhere. Okay, another Karen Millen. They do make exquisite coats. This is a military style coat in a beautiful ecru. It has puff sleeve. The buttons are divine. It has this gorgeous collar on it with the overstitching, fully lined. I mean, you know what I'm getting at. It's the perfect blending of feminine and masculine, and I'm adding a little extra feminine touch with a bow at the neck. Another classic piece from our time in Beijing. This was made by the Leather Lady, who was famous amongst the expat community. And again, the softest buttery leather. Adore the raspberry lining and just the classic feel of it. Love that it can be buttoned up. It can be collar popped. It can go with anything night and day. It's a classic and a keeper. I know I have a Karen Millen obsession, but they do make great coats. This is a denim trench. I wasn't going to include trenches in this video, but it's a longer one and it's more of a coat to me. It's beyond chic. It has a sheen to it. It's beautifully structured and not so loose. And all of those beautiful hardware details, those round buttons, the side pockets there, the lapels, the trim on the sleeve, beautiful. All right, we're down to the last couple of coats and this is another favorite. First of all, hello, green. Secondly, it's twill. Thirdly, look at the cut and shape of it. And it's one of those items you see you fall in love with and you don't buy and you regret it. And then you have to search and search and search and just miraculously find it. So it was meant to be. I love to add my Aquarius brooch from Zara to this one. It just makes it. And finally, we're down to my favourite coat of all time. It may look simple, but it is beautiful. It's the perfect fit on me. It's streamlined. It's a felt. It's a charcoal, a deep charcoal. You know those things that you just put on and they're just you and you just feel incredible in them and it just works. And that's what this little coat is. It was probably inexpensive, but I adore it. One thing I love to do with simple coats like this is to put a scarf around the waist. It just adds a bit of color, it looks chic, and it's a change from a belt. I love you. And that's the end of my coat tail. I hope you really enjoyed this. I loved sharing these treasured items with you. What I'd love you to do is to let me know which coat you would like to see a style up of. Choose whichever one you like, and I will do a full style up for your viewing pleasure, my dears. Also, please tell me in the comments which coats are your treasures. I'd love to know.